So the Lord scattered them abroad on the face of all the earth, and they left off, the and they left off the, 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 the city. Therefore is the name of it called <coughs> Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scattered them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Shall we do the Lord? Gracious God, <coughs> loving Heavenly Father, Yes, Lord, you're an awesome God. You're a God who's always there. You're a God who never leaves us for sake as Father. As we once again come to thee, Father, seeking thy help, seeking thy guidance, Father, knowing that we are unworthy, knowing that I am unworthy, be Father, knowing that I'm nothing but dust, Father. Lord, we thank and praise you, Father. Through you, we have life. Thank you, Lord, for the word that you brought before us. Lord, help us, Father, to hear thy still small voice. Help me also, Father, to hear thy voice. Give us the word that teaches, Father, to enlighten us, Father to strengthen us, Father. Help me also, Father, that I may not speak of my own, but I speak of thy word alone, Father. Lord, help me, Father. Take charge of me, 
به دست به تکم دونه بسمان به دار بیخیر نمیستم از بابا Once again, come with that The word in the hands of Allah The word may come with much power and might The words of spirit be given to us Lord Ask him these few things in Jesus' precious name Amen It's a very familiar passage, but uh, we know it very well. But as I was studying, the Lord was uh, bringing to my attention uh, just uh, the thought that really struck me, the word that really struck me here in verse 4. In uh, verse 4, we'll read here. Let us make us a name. See that? Let us make us a name. Let we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. So as we see here, three things. It says, let us build, uh, let us, uh, as we see it was three. Let us make brick and also let us build and also let us make us a name. Many times in this world, we strive in our lives, we give all of our lives to make a name for ourselves. To make a name for ourselves. Sometimes we do not know why we do that. But I believe it, it is the uh, in our blood, maybe. It's the nature. It is a nature. It naturally comes to make a name for ourselves. I believe it is uh, the nature that is has come through Adam. That has come through Adam. Adam and Eve, and that entered through the serpent. The serpent beguiled them. Only God said not to eat of that fruit and not drink of that cup. I mean, not eat of that fruit. No, no. If you eat, your eyes will be opened. You become like gods. What is it? You become like gods, knowing good and evil. What happened? They agreed to that. And they ate the fruit which God said, don't do it. Which God said, don't do it. God in His will, in His desire, He made it for us itself. That it was made for us only to give it in due time. But before that, the devil entered, tried to be going, right? And then put them to shame. As we see, they became naked. They became naked. Then what they did was, that nakedness, they have covered their nakedness with the, the fig leaves. So then, we cover our nakedness for pride. We cover our nakedness not for shame, but for pride. We spend costly. We spend expensive, probably, we spend so much money on our clothes, right, our dresses, how we look. We turn our shame to pride. Then, pride. What is that? By covering, by putting on expensive things, what do we do? 
We are making a name for ourselves. We are making a name for ourselves. Like a man that comes with all the ugly clothes. If he enters him, would you honor him the way that you honor him? those who are having a pile of suit with all kinds of perfumes? Would you be really honor that person that is poor and needy, don't have anything, very old clothes, torn up clothes? Do you really have that same honor? No. The reason is, again, the name for yourselves. We take pride in doing things of our own selves. What they did was, let us make a name for ourselves. Let us make a name? Yeah. That is the human nature. That is the human desire. Demons today. We wanted to make a name for ourselves. We want to turn our shame to pride. And that is why today, by wearing clothes or putting on expensive things, buying expensive things, showing that that we are something, that we make a name for ourselves. That was really touching me. That was really like uh, pinching me. Lord, what am I doing for you? Am I really carrying your name in me? Am I really carrying you in my life? The Lord and the heavenly glories. He came into this world to fight you and me. He came into this world. How he came? I know. The human beings. He believed in us. There was nothing for him. He was born in a manger. Pashila Pavala Rutha. Anta Vasana. There was no place, there is no place of honor even for him to come into this world. He chose that. But what about you and me? Marakkan Jamurikan Tete, and Nidhi, Boon and Nidhi, Boon, Uskon, Yeskon, Nidhi. Because we feel that our name, we are so different. We are so clean. We are so. Huh? We are so blessed and good of that way. Even the word says that. You are the most miserable person. All you are doing is you are covering your shame. You are covering your shame. Let us make a name for myself. Let us make, well, let me make a name for me. Demons today. In that we forget what God is in our lives. That we forget what God is in our lives. What God has done for you and me. He gave his life on the cross of Calvary. He shed his special blood for you. He has been tortured, he has been beaten, he has been torn. He was put the crown of thorns pressed on his head. The blood was gushing out, pierced him in the side, nailed him. He became lonely. For what? For you and me, dear ones. He took that shame for you and me so that we may. We may have that glory once more more again, but that we may have that heavenly glory to us once again. Otherwise our destination is heaven. We are destined for heaven. 
Let us think from. Dear ones today, this one story, a father and son. It was a festival of kites somewhere in downtown. They were in the festival that the young boy was there also in that festival where they saw all those kites flying up high. He was so excited to see all those kites that are going up on high. Then he was excited and then he wanted one of the flight with the kites. So he wanted to fly one of the kites also. Then he asked the father, oh, father, can we have one? Can we buy one? And then father gave father brought the one with the friend on the roller with the kite and then they started flying the kite. And then the little, little son wanted to fly the kite as, as high as it can. He wanted to keep it, let it go as high as it can. So he was flying all the way to the end of the, the, the road, where the roller was, it was tied to the roller. And that, the client, when it was flying, they were controlling through this thread. But this little boy was, uh, had something in his heart, in his mind. He wanted to reach out to the highest of all those kites. So thinking that cutting the thread and leaving it, it will go higher. It will go higher. Then said to the father, Father, shall we cut this thread that our kite may go higher and higher. Then all the kites that are there. And then father, he didn't understand what he was going through. And he cut the thread from the road, from the road and then it was flying. It flew couple minutes and then slowly came down. Finally it went down and then fell down on some of the rooftops of the abandoned building somewhere. And this little boy when he was flying high was so excited. My height was going to go high. It was reaching high. It was reaching high. And all of a sudden it went down. As it went down, <coughs> this, little, this boy, <coughs> the father, 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 why? I want that flight to go high, why it is coming down? Why it came down, what is it? Here the ones, the father explained, his son, even at the head of our life that we live in, we often think that some things are tied with, uh, with and they are pretending, uh, preventing us from going for the height. From going further? So then what happened? The thread was not holding the kite from going higher, but it was helping it to stay higher when the wind slowed down. And when the wind picked up, you help the kite to go up either in a proper direction through the thread. And that's what it is. Father was explaining it to you. And this is what the thread is for. But when you cut the thread, it fell down. Without the support, you are providing it to the kite through the thread. The sun realized the mistake. Given the story is this. Many times we feel in the in our height of life, we wanted to be higher. We wanted to reach the higher heights. Not realizing when you are cut off from the roll of that you will come down because there is no support of the threat. There is no support of the There is no support of the threat. Sometimes we feel that we can progress quickly and reach to the newer heights in our life if we are not tied up with our family and church. Many times we feel that. We feel that if you are not tied, with the family and with the church. Oh, I could have done better things. I could have reached to different places. I could have done so many other things, dear ones. We are fooling ourselves. We are fooling ourselves. We are not understanding and those are the things that is controlling our lives. 
making us to go higher, fly higher, stay higher. Our family, our church, the word of God, the family of God, the people of God, the word of God is making you to stay higher in our lives. But if you are cut off from there, it may seem like you are flying high, but as the kite came down, the lights will be gone too. Live us today. Same thing with the children, the people that are at the time of the Tower of Babel. Let us make a name. Let us make a name. If you have strived for the name in this world, cutting off yourselves from God, one day your life will be like that kind. Follow one of the rooftops, abandon. Don't know where you end up. Don't know where you are. That will be your place. Today. Think of this. That's what Paul speaks. Reaching to the new heights. How? It is not that our soul, it is not about fame. But read what he says. Look, he has done John's Gospel chapter 20, verse 27. John writes it. Then said he to Thomas, ah, Then said he to Thomas, ah, Reach hither thy finger. Ah, that is where we need to reach to. He said, Reach to thy finger. Ah. And behold, ah. my hands, and reach hither thy hand. Ah. Reach hither thy fingers, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy, thy hand, and then? And thrust it into my side. Thrust it into my side. Salma, ah. And be not faithless, ah. but believe. But believe me, thrust it into my side. Reach out to me. Reach out to my hands. Reach out to what I have done for you. Reach out to see what, you, what, I, what I have done for you. Reach out my wounds. Reach out my side and then see what I have done. Because of your thoughts, because of the intent of your heart, I have been pierced into the side. Because of the thing that you have done with your hands, I have been pierced. Reach out. Reach out unto those cars. Reach out unto those wounds and see. Not reaching out unto the skies. Reaching out, not reaching out into the highest of all that is in this world. The Lord says here, Thomas, come, reach. Reach out unto the hands that was laid for you. Reach out unto the wounds, the nails that I bore for you on the cross of Calvary. Reach out to the side and see what kind of pain. Then you will know that you have salvation. Then you will know the redemption that you have. I took that shame for you. I took that pain for you. I took that suffering for you. So that you may reach out unto heavenly glory. That you may reach out unto heavenly glory. Otherwise our destination is hell. Our destination is hell. Even Paul speaks to one of our words and close. 2nd Corinthians chapter 10 verses 12 and 13 Look at the, his life and his example Wherefore ah, Chapter 10 verse 12 Wherefore Wherefore let him that thinketh ah, standeth take heed lest ah, he fall ten, Take it 10, 12 and 13 10, 12 and 13 2nd Corinthians we did not make ourselves of the number. Ah, for we did not make ourselves of the number. We compare ourselves with some that command themselves. Ah, uh ah. -huh. For they measure themselves by themselves. Ah, uh ah. -huh. And compare themselves among themselves. Ah, uh -huh. not wise. Are not wise. Are not wise. But what is what is he saying? But we, but we will not boast of things without our measure. Ah, uh, but we will not boast of things without measure. According to the measure of the rule. Ah, that is according to the measure of the rule. Which God has distributed. Ah, which God has distributed to us. The measure to 
Ah, what is that? A measure to reach evil unto? Unto you. Deva, that is our desire. That should be our life. That should be our goal in our lives. That reach it unto you. Tell me about it, sir. 12 or 13 verse. Well, there is no Bible. Tell me. 13 verse. May I say? 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 Emma? Ah, Mera Kuminchi, I'll say about him, Kamu, Kani. Mira, how are you? Ah, they would want to Mira, Ah, Mira, no, Mira, no, Mira, no, Mira, no, To reach out unto you. That is my desire, that is our desire, to reach out unto you. Because we don't want you to be lost. Because. You are trying to reach out unto heavens. The Lord was saying, those people that are in Babel, let us go make a name. Let us make brick. Let us build. And then, let us make a name. And that is what it is happening in the present world with us. At this present moment, this is exactly what it is going on. Making a name for themselves. Making a name for themselves. A man, you can do that especially. This one brother, oh, went to the graveyard. He went to the graveyard. He went to the nice family. The brother, he went to the graveyard. Uh, he wanted to see that the, how many people that he knows that because in that area where he lived, how many people that he knows that uh, passed away since he visited last time. Since he had visited last time, he went maybe a couple of years uh, before. Then he went to visit the graveyard and to visit, visit his family and relatives that were uh, buried dead in the graveyard. So while he was visiting, and then he just wanted to go around and see how many more uh, passed away, really passed away in that time of period that uh, were buried. And then he was looking for so many of them. And then he was going through all these uh, tombstones, and uh, they have uh, stones and plate, and uh, so many different uh, nice stones. And one stone was very huge, very big, very huge. And that's a big, huge tombstone, and it is standing out in all the stones, tombstones that are in the grave. It's a very huge one. And on that, it's clearly big, uh, emboldened, uh, the names of the uh, grave, uh, engraved uh, into this uh, tombstone. And then he was, uh, he, he went down to his town and was reaching, uh, reading those names. And then he read the names, he knew those people. And they were there, really, some of them were also some of the religious. But they didn't even pass away. But they have a tombstone in the graveyard. How? They're so big. They wanted to create a name even in that also, in the graveyard. And then he was realizing, why this? And then he was understanding, oh, this seems like very simple people. This seems like very, very decent people. But what is going on? They were just really wondering what it is for. Huge tombstone, names graven in it. Realized later on, looking into their lives, looking into their desires, how they are living their lives, then he realized they want to make a name for themselves. Many times we want to make a name. And then you put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to put one of the things that's where I'm going to then you see the love of God in your lives. That's what the Lord is saying, Thomas, why you don't? 
come little into my homes, little into my side. What have I done for you? That is where you need to reach to. You don't know, we don't want to boast anything. Paul says, but our desire is to reach out unto you, to the demons, as the words coming to us. Think of these things. Do you want to make, it, make a name for yourselves? Or do you want to reach out unto God? See what God wants for you to do in your lives. Or do you want to have the desire like Paul to reach out unto others? To serve others. It is up to you. Whether you want to do it or you don't want to do it. Otherwise, if we are meeting out of the heights in your life, in your life, demons will be like that kind. Once you're cut off from the threat, once you're cut off from the family, once you're cut off from the church, you will be nowhere abandoned. In some way, abandoned rooftop. The woman can find you. Nobody knows where you are. Your life will be visible. Think of these things. Take your life seriously. And do things that God wants you to do in your life. Give yourself into God. Get tied up to the whole. Get tied up to the family. And to the family of God. Even our family also. Your physical family and the spiritual family. Tie up into that. Then you will see. You will be controlled. You will be, definitely you will be reaching heights. There is no doubt. Even in this world you will be reaching out. But you will not be going down. You will not be. The winds may be contrary. But there is a threat to direct you. There is a threat to direct you to fly high. Keep you high. You are high because you are controlled by the threat. Once you're cut off, you're gone. Think of that. So let us see this. May God bless you.